we don't need the billions of money that has been invested into NIS and everything. Mm -hmm. We need those billions to be invested in mm -hmm. terms of healthcare, in terms of food security, mm -hmm. in terms of um, employment to mm -hmm. young people, mm -hmm. so that uh, we can uh, we can live in harmony mm -hmm. as a country. Mm -hmm. That was the the problem that. Uh, that we are having with those mm -hmm. protests and the way uh, the political class had designed, mm -hmm. which uh, these protests that happened this year were, were very organic mm -hmm. and very organized mm -hmm. uh, with Kenyans themselves. And this um, was just to make sure that uh, Kenyans, they realized uh, their sovereign power, mm -hmm. Article 1 mm -hmm. of the Constitution. The uh, yeah, for, for those who are saying one. that the protest wasn't successful, yeah. I, I, I don't know what, what they understand about yeah, the I think it comes back to protest doesn't necessarily mean that people have to come out and you know people can you can de decide you are not going to work yeah, today can people you are, are not, not going to work and yeah. that is a protest yeah jenu wana sauti karibu ni tena tuna another amazing episode of the voice ke imans and today we are yet again back after a very long time and it's been a while thank you for your podcast we got to feel hope you have been seeing some of the demonstrations and some of the clips that we have been putting on uh, of the demonstrations that have been going on since july 18 and i'm saying since, since july 18 because before that kuna kumekuwa na maandamano but since july 18 is when uh the the heaviness was felt yeah, i remember kumekuwa na maandamano za kina baba ziza maandamano mande and our guest pia amekuwa na maandamano za finance bill ya 2023 but this one was a little bit heavy and you would like to hear his perspective na mpaka uh, siku ambayo iliweza kufikia nane nane when we expected that the government is going to be passive over thrown kama iliweza ku succeed na experience yake ya maandamano kama hii ilikuwa any different or how different did it feel manze so introducing my guest today is amani daudi Ture. Yes, Amani Daudi Ture, one of the best activists that we have in the country, Manze, and has been working for a long time with uh, activists in the country and social justice centers, especially Mokuru Social Justice Center. Ni aje Ture? Kwa sana. Uko salama? Niko salama sana. Manze, yeta ngeli, kwa mara ingine tena. Tule patana. Eh, Manze, it's been a while. Tule patana kwa streets, lakini leo tume patana kwa studio. Eh, Manze, alafu nakuwa gamsi chill, Manze, una mwana no mingi, Manze, i chill characteristic imetoka wapi, ama you have being all like that all through, uh, throughout your life uh, so uh, kitu nye kitu nye iko unajua hiyo um, ndio i think character yangu mm -hmm. tuna kitambo mm -hmm. kwa tu calm mm -hmm. uh, na ku observe pia situations zenye ziko mm -hmm. na kuzi observe yeah. sana so wewe ulianza activism way back kitambo sana ya yeah? and na hii chill state yako ni kuwa tumekuwa ukiwatch and then inakuanga unaenda kwa street and then you demonstrate or how does it come about because ukiwa kwa street manze mtu anasema ni tupere manya tunajua na kwa game tulia ah uh, so unajua unajua ni ni the living conditions yeah. uh, zile zenye ziko na material conditions zile zenye sisi tunapitia kama wananchi mm -hmm. uh, ndio hizo vitu zenye zinafanya sana sana tunaenda kwa street mm -hmm. Uh, cause ukiangalia kama saa hii protest zimekuwa all over the country mm -hmm. um zimekuwa very very strong na hii ni kitu yenye tumekuwa tuki predict for for a very long period of time mm -hmm. cause ni ni, 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 ni vitu zao zimekuwa mm -hmm. uh, but zimekuwa tu ziki pile up ziki pile up mm -hmm. ukiangalia uh, watu wana go through a lot mm -hmm. uh, na issues za colonialism mm -hmm. uh, ndio zenye zina 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 rule all, All, all over like for example kiangalia in Kenya na pia ni vitu pia kiangalia protest zetu pia zime zime go beyond pia Kenya yeah. uh, in Africa kuna countries pia zile zina my youth pia wanajaribu ku, ku organize because yeah. ukiangalia uh, the states have been captured um, by few economic terrorists uh, wale wana um, wana wanataka ku control mm -hmm. uh, everything in terms of um, employment in terms of food mm -hmm. in terms of land in terms of climate in mm -hmm. terms of everything mm -hmm. uh, na politics ndio kitu define mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. uh, but kitu ile tumeona ni politics uh, sana sana venye iko na venye wako design they are they are not serving the people's interest mm -hmm. uh, like for example the way democracy mm -hmm. uh, government like for, here in Kenya venye nafaa kukua mm -hmm. they serve um, somebody's else interest ukiangalia mm -hmm. zile policies zile zinaletwa kwa parliament yeah. Uh, policies kama tusemeza finance bill kama hii yenye ilikuwa tu yenye ilikuwa the punitive one uh, ipi ilikuwa ili, ili, ili nini judiciary ilisema pia ni unconstitutional mm -hmm. year 2023 tulikuwa pia very strong on the street mm -hmm. ku, kuipinga na 
even the people who are pushing uh, the agenda in terms of legislative yeah. in, in government they can't even explain mm. the document yeah. so hiyo ni kitu inatuonyesha too easy ni vitu zenye ziko manufactured somewhere then unapatiwa naambiwa you go and pass it yeah. uh, then ukiona pia of late peer statement ya 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 gashago akisema members of parliament will request wakasema wapewe wapewe 2 million each mm-hmm. aweze kupitiza finance bill yeah. na yetu wa Kenya wamewambia sipitize yeah. but later on si the mp came and apologized on uh, on the parliament floor which at a later a lot of apro on the floor and uh, certain mp ali kama kasema like uh, he, he has apologized on on the floor and he wants to apologize for stating that mps have been given 2 million what do you think about that yeah and i would like you to connect with it with umesema kwamba uh, you had predicted yeah and uh, we saw the peer the deputy president that came out like sema kwamba the national intelligence service has failed because they didn't inform the president of what was going on you know and you yourself you are saying that you had predicted does it mean that then nis is so incompetent that they didn't see uh, and they are, they are the ones who has the intelligence they are the ones who have the forces and everything um for that uh, maybe to answer your first question about um the member of parliament who apologized i think mm-hmm. maybe uh in a kwani pressure pill to come from above or yeah. maybe somewhere else mm-hmm. kuna intimidation peer we know um the way the president um is controlling parliament yeah. na everything mm-hmm. you can force peer to apologize mm-hmm. uh then kuna peer ukiangalia venye tunasema uh, deputy president mwenyewe mm-hmm. alistate akasema yeah. mp so demand wapewe 2 million na wakapatiwa then akauliza is that not corruption mm-hmm. uh, Uh, then ki niki answer pay is well umeuliza hii ya uh, NIS and everything mm-hmm. um, for the living conditions mm-hmm. and the issues that are affecting uh, all Kenyans mm-hmm. um, we don't need the billions of money that has been invested into NIS and everything mm-hmm. we need those billions to be invested in mm-hmm. terms of healthcare in terms of food security mm-hmm. in terms of um, employment to mm-hmm. young people mm-hmm. so that uh, we can uh, we can live in harmony mm-hmm. as a country mm-hmm. uh, but ukiangalia challenge ile yenye tuko nayo ni the government uh, is militarizing every security sector mm-hmm. uh, ukiangalia uh, at the, the initial budget ile yenye ulikuwa umesoma mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, national police service budget yao ilikuwa increase uh, uh, KDF mm-hmm. uh, budget yao ilikuwa ilikuwa increase na everything mm-hmm. but ukiangalia in terms of healthcare uh, budget ime, ime kwa slash in terms of basic education mm-hmm. ime kwa slash in yeah. terms of higher education ime kwa slash in terms of food security ime kwa slash mm-hmm. so uh, what does that tell you It's like uh, the government is militarizing itself mm-hmm. uh, and to make sure that um, um, uh, Mr. Ruto can can cling to power uh, who cling to power mm-hmm. uh, in dubious means and everything mm-hmm. um, can protect his, his power yeah. because we have seen even the force that police has been have been using on the street yeah. uh, to us protesters and um, and even the abductions that have been happening yeah. we don't need those uh, resources to to be inv- uh, to be invested in those <laughs> abductions mm-hmm. and everything mm-hmm. what we need is just uh, ruto to, to respect the constitution mm-hmm. and to use the resources that he has al- allocated to all those security sectors mm-hmm. um to make sure that uh, especially article 43 of the constitution has been implemented mm-hmm. na kila mkenya atakapoa na kila mkenya atakapoa mm-hmm. you're talking about now uh, investing in these particular areas and uh, military and making kenya being a military per se state yeah uh, not be able to express our freedom of protest and everything yeah what rule has social justice groups and working groups uh, in this country uh, what rule have they played in the uh, particular demonstrations that you have been seeing that have been coming up what major role do you feel that they have played in asking for our freedom in the revolution what is the major role that you feel they have played uh, so the major role i think uh, was just to keep the moment- momentum uh, on going mm-hmm. uh, because um, we have been doing this protest since 2018 yeah. and before even 2018 we have been having people protesting and mm-hmm. everything so the role of the social justice centers and also progressive not only social justice center mm. but we also have other progressive movements yeah. m- movements across the country yeah. uh, they have been pushing and also keeping this momentum high mm-hmm. uh, to make sure that uh, there is resistance to all oppression mm-hmm. um, then uh, we are glad because we have been ho- 
uh, holding forums uh, political education civic education mm-hmm. uh, just explain this issue to the masses mm-hmm. uh, and you can see uh, like for example um, last year we had um, we had a, a march against the finance bill mm-hmm. we were we were tear gas we were arrested uh, we were detained for some days mm-hmm. uh, we were denied even uh, medical attention uh, our ladies were mistreated we were tortured mm-hmm. in cells mm-hmm. uh, at central police station here in nairobi and also people in kisumu were also mm-hmm. arrested in mombasa and other areas yeah. uh, but um, we saw that uh, uh, the role that we have played also is in terms of uh, keeping the conversation ongoing because mm. uh, Kenyans realize so these guys who are telling us the truth yeah. because um, we are also having um, we participated in public participation we had a team that went to public participation mm-hmm. to issue um, our respective demands and everything but the government didn't respect that mm-hmm. uh, they went on and pushed uh, the document through our throats mm-hmm. um, which went uh, on and uh, you can see how it has impacted mm-hmm. uh, each and every individual's lives in mm-hmm. this country uh, so uh, th- for the conversation also uh, that we've been having um, after the fin- it came from finance bill to finance act yeah. we have been going to court solidarities where we had uh, comrade Okio Mtata mm. petitioning uh, we changed ourselves at Milimani law court sometimes back yeah. um, uh, the case that was just ruled mm. recently then that day actually the case was postponed <laughs> um, so uh, we've been keeping on this conversation mm-hmm. now it came a time where every Kenya wanted to be part of this conversation yeah. because uh, they felt that by the way tuguza sana ya last year tukuangalia na imetufinya sana na hivi kwanza mambo iko kuna vitu mingi zimeletwa na kila kitu imekuwa yeah. introduced actually the 2023 uh, ilikuwa declared unconstitutional pia yeah ilikuwa declared unconstitutional mm-hmm. uh, but tunaona pia um, president ana ana, ana implement hiyo inaitwa na kimangoto yeah. yeah sasa yeah. yamesema kaende kaende kaen kaen by force by fire mimi si sikizi mahakama si sikizi heshima katiba mimi nda nda deal na nyinyi na polisi na KDF yeah so wakati sasa ilifika June 18 yeah and the first demonstrations by not necessarily by social justice centers because hizo zingine wachana za baba za manda mana mande yeah because nakumbuka ndani kuza za baba kama mko involved and you are telling me you are very clear that hizo sisi those are babas and mko separate yeah and sasa tukaona 23 mka come out now June 18 vile sasa wa Kenya walianza kushika moto and momentum how did you make you feel like an activist who has been there trying to inform and trying to call upon people to come out for these to, to protest for their rights so before that uh, even and mama baba si atacha tuko involved mm-hmm. tuko involved sana even also in terms of documentation yeah. uh, there are there are a lot of people who are mm. who are killed yeah. uh, a lot of people who are who are short yeah. others are still nursing uh, injuries others can't walk mm-hmm. and everything mm-hmm. so uh, we played even a role even in documenting these cases okay. and also making sure that these people mm. uh, are getting justice okay. uh, and also just to make sure that mm. um, everybody right has be, uh, was respected, respected at that yeah. particular time as long as they're exercising uh, your right yeah. you, you uh, it's not that we didn't support mm-hmm. we joined even th- those protests okay. uh, because uh, we had even critical demands mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, like for example sabasaba march for our lives mm-hmm. uh, last year we went to town mm-hmm. uh, before even uh, we were there uh, very early in the morning mm-hmm. uh, we were tear gas we were shot at by police officers we were arrested mm-hmm. uh, we were taken to central police station before even baba came to town yeah. uh, with the with, with the yeah kingia nile sadia sana hiyo siku ndo tulishikwa hata tulika tulika cell sana yeah. and also even the people who were arrested in that demonstration we were with them singing mm-hmm. revolutionary songs yeah. uh, in different police stations mm-hmm. across the country mm-hmm. uh, just trying to make sure and make, saying that we are we are together mm-hmm. in this struggle mm-hmm. uh, but the issue with those protests is that even the discussion that they had in bombers yeah. they didn't even uh, talked about the people who are killed yeah. the people who are shot mm-hmm. um, people there is there is someone who, who was shot mm-hmm. he can't even do his work mm-hmm. even right now yeah. they didn't even ask for their justice mm-hmm. but you can see even right now they are in government yeah. they, are, they are not talking about those people mm. uh, even that nadco report okay is the one uh, that formulated the meeting that we yeah, saw yeah. like ICC. Yeah. so mm-hmm. uh, that was the the problem that uh, that we are having with those mm-hmm. protests and the way uh, the political class had designed mm. which uh, this protest that happened this year were, were 
very organic mm -hmm. and very organized mm -hmm. uh, with Kenyans themselves and this um, was just to make sure that uh, Kenyans they realized uh, their sovereign power mm -hmm. article 1 of mm -hmm. the constitution the uh, yeah they can <laughs> they, they, they they take back the power that they have yeah. um, the protest that was organized first mm -hmm. uh, I was there actually um we were there june, june 18 yeah june 18 yeah, we were there we started, new, yeah. Yeah, we started yeah. even we didn't me, uh, met on street because we were tear gas <laughs> yeah. and everything uh we, we tried going to parliament we were yeah. tear gas at, at that roundabout there yeah. uh, then we were chased away by water cannon mm -hmm. um but uh I like the way Kenyans turned out. Yeah, that was um, now June 18. Yeah, so June 18, 18, it was not successful. It, 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 it was, it's not that it was not successful. Mm -hmm. It was very successful. You mm. can't say it was not successful. People are not success, you know, successful no, 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 occupy no, parliament. No. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, what determines the success of a protest? To yeah, because uh, I'll tell parliament. you uh, yeah. our, our, our takeaway from that protest. Okay. Because it for me, it was very successful. Mm -hmm. Because we went to parliament. Yeah. Actually, we arrived at parliament. Mm -hmm. Then we were chased away by water cannon. Okay. Um, so it was testing um the state the way the state is brutal yeah. in in terms of approaching us yeah. and how innovative we can become yeah. in terms of addressing that mm -hmm. so we realized police they are they are having rungus they're having tear gas mm -hmm. they're having bullets they're mm -hmm. having water cannons mm -hmm. they are having horse mm -hmm. chasing us so uh it was very very innovative so that uh we go back and also Strategize yeah. on how we are going to occupy parliament mm -hmm. because uh, you can see even the next protest mm -hmm. that we came and even the protest that we occupy the parliament mm -hmm. the uh, because we are innovative. Um, the, f the first day, uh, ukiangalia the first day, mm. what will you want to do? What do But ukiangalia, <laughs> as time goes by, what do you want to So, you want to do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. So, you can do it, you can do it, and then for us, we continue. Yeah. Then, you can do it, and you can do it, and you can do it, and you So, it's not that the first protest wasn't successful. Okay. It was very, very successful. I think even the strategy, what I noticed also, during the first 18 and 20, Fifth, actually, to find out the 25th or Nikona Machin started the next round was people noted that they were using tear gas and water cannons at the same time. So people forced them to me as Kaisha. Blazilisha, now people were able to occupy. But the rest, you know, as Kisu saw, not to me a tear gas as Subia Subit, no, so ma, or at me a chana, Subia Subik, come a journey on a tear gas, Mianza Kuisha, now they bring the, the water cannons, yeah. But now, you're quite 18 there, 18 they equal so much, uh, what to talk here. And then, Sasa 25th, that's the people's people appear now 20 seconds, it got 20 seconds, or talk here. So now, the next Tuesday now is the one that now got so heated that people now people were able to occupy parliament and even get in yeah people came out to criticize saying that people should not destroy property they destroy the property in the inside of parliament you know and other things there yeah? what do you think about this yeah do you think that protests have to destroy is there damage that has to be done when it comes to a protest and what now triggers this uh so uh just to answer that is that um in terms of um properties mm -hmm. because we have seen uh properties are, are destroyed we mm -hmm. have seen uh, even buildings have been touched mm -hmm. and um even when you see even the protests that we are we are organizing and we are we have been attending mm -hmm. um particularly for this uh, this year finance bill uh they are very very powerful mm -hmm. and the, the state uh the state actually uh, is shaken even right now mm -hmm. the state is shaken yeah. um and what uh, what the state did is that um, they also hired their their militia, mm -hmm. their 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 militia, Those so that they can militia. come. Yeah. Uh, they can come. Not not only you know uh, we overpowered the police and everything, mm -hmm. but now they they came with another alternative. Mm -hmm. How are they going to discredit the protest? Mm -hmm. So they had they hired the goons oh, to come okay. and um, and uh, and loot businesses yeah. and also. Uh, touch some buildings mm -hmm. and rob some innocent because when you go uptown where the protests were, were happening mm -hmm. things were peaceful yeah. everybody was peaceful mm -hmm. but when you come uh, downtown we're having those goons who met uh, earlier at um, they were convened earlier at, at uh, Green Park Terminus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we are having even photos yeah, um, videos, yeah, videos and yeah. everything mm -hmm. so um, for them they were hired to come and 
and uh, and steal mm-hmm. and uh, loot so that they can discredit the uh, the protests that were peaceful mm-hmm. and um, uh, organic from Kenyans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. H- how would an ideal protest without damage look like? Yeah, like you can see, even the uh, the the Occupy Parliament was an ideal one. Mm-hmm. Um, even the first protest was mm-hmm. an ideal one. Yeah. The protests that we've been having have been an ideal one. Mm-hmm. Even before this protest, mm-hmm. on Sita Sita we had protests and mm-hmm. we went to Parliament. Yeah. Actually, you can see you can you can get even those photos and mm-hmm. videos, everything. Yeah. And we warned the the parliamentarians mm-hmm. and told them about the evictions that were happening. Mm-hmm. We told them about the 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 finance bill uh, that was t- was going to be tabled I- in the house. Mm-hmm. They need to reject it and everything. And we we told them that if you're not going to to, to respect these demands mm-hmm. and also discuss them mm-hmm. um, we as Kenyans we are going to rise up mm-hmm. and come uh, come for you he, he, even in this parliament mm-hmm. and um, and demand for accountability because you are you are representing our interests mm-hmm. not your interests yeah, exactly uh, and you saw it, it happened yeah. so um, we have been we have been on the streets mm. and also uh, even um, this is uh, there is a statement um, a, a, in public domain like mm-hmm. uh, that Sonko said uh, even the deep state used to hire matatu and people mm-hmm. to wear their t-shirts yeah. so that they can ban matatu mm-hmm. and say that these are or these are people who are protesting mm-hmm. they are the one causing this mm-hmm. this chaos mm-hmm. so you can see uh, the state has monopoly of violence mm-hmm. but it also when we, we overpower them with our skills just uh, as the way uh, the conversation that we are having mm-hmm. here uh, about uh, how we we learned um, what a canon tear gas mm-hmm. and everything then we went to parliament mm-hmm. and everything uh, so uh, the state uh, the state now came with their own strategy of yeah. hiring, hiring goods right, so that they can they can discredit the protest and tell even the business community mm-hmm. that these people are bad they are stealing from you and everything mm-hmm. but even the business community are, v- are very well organized yeah. and they are supporting the protest yeah. what they are not supporting they are not supporting looting because yeah. if they increase taxes yeah. on everything yeah. the business community is the one who is going to be affected yeah. and everything because people won't be if, if I'm buying Unga today, mm-hmm. uh, maybe t- two packets of flour. I'm using two packets of flour a day. Mm. I'll, I'll minimize. I'll use one packet of flour for two yeah, days. Exactly. Then this you can see even uh, yeah, the issue of demand and supply. Yeah. Uh, we. we will be lower yeah, yeah. exactly the, the basics of, yeah. of economics yeah. yeah if you don't have enough money punguza entertainment and everything uh, which yeah. you saw a lot of kenyans came through and these are some of the things that triggered people to come on the 25th but after the 25th we started seeing like the numbers surge because i think that morning what the president did he removed the finance bill and he also dissolved cabinet straight down yeah which now triggered for the next demonstrations we saw a few people coming out and now the demands are uh, started changing from now finance bill to now Ruto must go yeah do you think now this shift in whatever people want is what made now people uh, surge in terms of the numbers that are coming out and in terms of the push uh, so uh, from reject finance bill to Ruto must go yeah I think the agenda of Ruto must go is there since the first day okay uh, because um, even uh, uh, when he was dissolving his cabinet mm-hmm. we had to push and also have this conversation had this conversation mm-hmm. he had also ho- hosted this street space actually for me i didn't join the the space mm-hmm. uh, um so um we are talking about the incompetence uh in his cabinet mm-hmm. and also in the way he's managing mm-hmm. um this country yeah. and um, we have seen one one was uh, the president um is using um parliament is an extension to, from executive yeah. which sh- should not be the case mm-hmm. parliament should be the representation of the people mm-hmm. uh but uh, but you can see ruto mm-hmm. is controlling parli- parliamentarians mm-hmm. as uh as his toy toy boys and toy girls mm-hmm. you can see that and that's where the conversation of ruto must go mm-hmm. came in and yeah. we saw even the arrogance from members of parliament saying you can't you'll, you'll do nothing yeah. we pass this bill mm-hmm. you, you can't tell us anything mm-hmm. you can imagine mm-hmm. people who elected you are asking you this thing is not good for mm-hmm. us you, you are representing us mm-hmm. go and say this yeah. then you are telling them 
you are approaching them in a such in a such manner the one that, so that, um mm-hmm. and and the other thing also was his cabinet like for mm-hmm. example you can see cs linturi mm-hmm. uh, was impeached mm-hmm. and everything you can see um because of uh, fertilizer scandal and everything mm-hmm. then uh later uh, the president called the members of parliament to to stand up <laughs> yeah. and he talked to them you know this guy campaigned for us yeah, yeah, yeah. he mobilized votes for us now we need we are not chasing him yeah. we need to you can imagine mm-hmm. i even saw an mp konza mwenyali new my lady i think it's an mp judah kisema mimi nimepewa it felt like no nimepewa like you know he's talking about article finance bill mimi nimepewa sijui pesa ya cdf ngapi i'm like it's not you has been given that money it's the kenyans who have been given and you can see like how they competent out and how they sell their sales through through wordings yeah and of course you came out uh, during the d- demonstrations uh, the nad cause you said yeah you even participated in helping some people get released yeah and now you, you saw that the, the moment that cabinet was dissolved you saw baba say that there is no dialogue that has happened yeah later on we saw some of his cabinet come in yeah how does this, this make you feel as person who dom- uh, who participated in the manda bando mondays for baba so that the nad co can come can be in place and figure out the cost of living and now seeing that his people are the ones who are benefiting and the main things that were supposed to be addressed are not being addressed yeah over the call of time yeah now he came we saw baba saying that you know uh, ruto came to us for me for help yeah and i gave him some of my members how does this make you feel does it feel like that was a worth the protest to you or was it worth it uh, so to respond to that it's not that the people who went on the street um last year were supporting nadko mm-hmm. they were just uh demanding the implementation of the constitution okay uh and also a right to food mm-hmm. so you are part of the demonstrations yeah. but with a different agenda yeah. no, not with a different uh, agenda because okay. uh, the nadco uh-huh. is the is the political class uh-huh. creation okay which they they went uh, they had discussion mm-hmm. and everything now mm-hmm. they came with mm. with the nadco yeah if you can ask even um like everyone who was on the street mm-hmm. maybe for example mm-hmm. uh, that time majority will not will will tell you they are not mm-hmm. those who are not there mm-hmm uh their consideration mm-hmm. and that's why um you can see even the the protests mm-hmm. uh, the the protests that were 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 led by the opposition leader mm-hmm. right now um it's like in kenya mm. the opposition leader we is we as kenyans yeah. just to answer the question mm-hmm. that that you have asked mm. because um people have realized uh, that w- when they go to to the street uh, now politicians have called them to go and protest against everything mm. now they go on the table like for example mm. nadco there mm-hmm. they had some millions of money yeah. um, being allocated uh, just going to sit there having some tea and have their discussion mm. being being reimbursed and mm, everything yeah. you know that's that's mm-hmm. part of their interest yeah. uh, which they don't even discuss mm-hmm. the real critical issues yeah. and uh, i've just I, i just told you that kenyans have been observing all these issues mm-hmm. and kenyans are waking up mm-hmm. i'm glad kenyans are waking up because mm-hmm. uh, you can see the protest that was organized like for example the occupy parliament mm-hmm. it was very very successful mm-hmm. um kenyans uh, knew that they uh, no na- uh, kenyans knows now mm-hmm. that they have power yeah they have power mm-hmm. they can influence change mm-hmm. now we organized ourselves mm-hmm. we had protest mm-hmm. we occupied the parliament mm-hmm. we sent our statement outside there yeah to show that the power belongs to the people to the people yeah so that uh, and after that you can see uh, what happened um, is is just that uh, the p- political political class so there was a th- there is now a threat mm. now ruto called raila mm. and their team now they had to sit down and say mm. ah you see people now have uh are rising up mm-hmm. they are waking up mm-hmm. now they are taking they are taking this power mm-hmm. they are going to chase mm-hmm. uh, uh, to chase us out mm-hmm. Do now the- we need mm-hmm. we need to re-strategize yeah how we are going to 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 retain the political power because even on the street um the people who are protesting everybody had his own issue mm-hmm. linked to to states violence yeah uh, like for example you saw a lady who said is very sick at mm-hmm. cnn yeah uh, that story was very very touching i saw a guy a guy also saying that um 
his, his wife feels and his children his child feels that he's a failure mm. you can see those are the those are material condition issues that mm. are affecting people here mm. but addressing this issue it needs only full implementation mm. of the constitution yeah. and we have seen even public management of debt and all political issues mm -hmm. happening here there are corruption yeah. um, we have a lot of issues just mm -hmm. uh, heavy a lot of heavy issues just behind this protest yeah. that uh, unpacking them will take even some days mm -hmm. uh, so that um, we can even um, we can even solve these issues mm -hmm. but now we are demanding those people who are in power mm -hmm. to work on these issues mm -hmm. But they are not working on this They're issue. On what they have done is just that uh, now Raila has come on board mm -hmm. uh, with his team. Mm -hmm. uh, now they have united <laughs> with Ruto. Yeah, the and, same thing and, they did. Uh, and Gashagwa, back, yeah. uh, and Gashagwa, so that they can regroup mm -hmm. and continue to loot mm -hmm. because nothing will nothing will change mm -hmm. because even this uh, the people who have been appointed they're not even professional like for example joho mm -hmm. but what will he do <laughs> what will he do? to see uh, yeah well, even we can uh, i'm telling you don't, don't wait for anything positive to be to be there because he'll do nothing <laughs> Actually, uh, I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling yeah, you the yeah, truth. Yeah. Mm. This is just the truth. Mm. Uh, they'll do nothing mm. because they are same same political cliques. Yeah. And we wanted now uh, because you can't say for over 50 million Kenyans, mm -hmm. we don't have anyone who is competent who can work for Kenyans yeah, and deliver. Exactly. Uh, now you have just to go to another political party mm -hmm. and say that uh, now we want to form a, a broad-based government. Who, mm -hmm. who asked for broad-based government? We asked for fully implementation of the constitution. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he has been asking for dialogue. Mm -hmm. And for us, we are not saying we, we, we want uh, we want dialogue. Yeah. The dialogue that we want the president to have is to have the dialogue with the constitution. Exactly. I, I, and if he's asking for our leader, we don't mm -hmm. have our leader. Our leader is the constitution. Mm -hmm. Because we are very well organized mm -hmm. and constitution guides us. Mm -hmm. Constitution tells us uh, you need now to go to the street. Yeah. Now we go to the street. I want to ask a question. Uh, I was to come to that uh, particular statement of leaders, yeah, later on. But because you have brought it up, let us now talk it, talk about it, yeah. Because now, uh, after now, we saw that now Baba has been able to put some of his people in government, yeah. That means now our opposition is basically dead. And that when you are beginning this particular podcast, you say that now the opposition's the opposition is the people. The people are the the oppositions, yeah. And. Uh, Later on, people started this conversation online that, you know what, because you don't have a leader, that's why Baba has taken over these particular demonstrations, yeah? Do you feel like that we need a leader and it is important for us to have a leader? Because, before we continue, before you answer that, we saw some of members of so some social justice groups uh, came together, that is, before the Nanenane protest, like a day before the Nanenane protest, when Nanenane was so high, people are, have that, they still have that leaderless mentality, yeah? But we saw some now, we saw now that some of the people from the social justice group come out giving a statement saying that Ruto you have to resign by tomorrow you know and whatever and whatever and now it seems like they are the readers yeah to some people yeah what do you think about this should should, should it should it have, have been left like anonymous for people to come out and do you think it, this is some of the reasons that made the nanane protest cease down and go under waters or the nanane pro protest didn't cease down okay uh, i'll answer that okay um you know, um, for the protests that have been happening, mm -hmm. um, we, we say we are we are leaderless yeah. at national level, yeah. but at community level, people have leaders. Okay. You see? Mm. And we have leaders who they show they have shown even their leadership skills in terms of even this protest. Mm -hmm. We have people uh, who have been doing marvelous job in mm -hmm. terms of even mobilization, mm -hmm. in terms of coordination. Mm -hmm. This is a, a part of leaders. Mm -hmm. But for us, we don't value that um, that kingship leadership where mm -hmm. uh, where somebody rises up, is the only, uh, like for example, the tribesmen we have yeah. and people, like for example, political kingpins that we have. Mm -hmm. um, we are changing the narrative of politics of this country. Mm -hmm. And changing the narrative of politics of this country, mm -hmm. um, we need to have a collective leadership mm -hmm. where uh, we have to listen to the people. 
because we have different collectives mm-hmm. where they organize themselves yeah. like for example you have mentioned about people who organize the the press conference and everything mm-hmm. uh we have other people who are mobilizing resources also online okay. and everything those are leaders mm-hmm. you can't say they are just hosting on behalf of the people mm-hmm. and they have shown leadership mm-hmm. these are these are leaders but you do you know what the states wants is that um is is that uh they are they are political Uh, elite culture of mm-hmm. having uh, somebody who is on top of everyone ah, so that okay. you can see uh, mm-hmm. this the guy and everything so that they can also mm-hmm. uh, they can also uh, get him manipulate him or maybe bribe him mm-hmm. and just everything mm-hmm. but for us um we are doing on well mm-hmm. uh it's not that we are ha- we, do- we don't have a leader mm-hmm. and some something that guides us which is very very supreme mm-hmm. and which uh, ruto has refused to to buy mm-hmm. is to 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 work with the constitution mm-hmm. because the constitution is supreme mm-hmm. the constitution is our leader yeah. and ruto should buy to the constitution to be mm-hmm. his leader so mm-hmm. that um you should just re- remember uh, when he was sworn in he was given a sword mm-hmm. and a constitution mm-hmm. so he just he just needs to go back there mm-hmm. to state house where there is constitution then interact with the constitution mm-hmm. then he leads the country mm-hmm. with constitution mm-hmm. implement the constitution because we have seen even the constitutional offices and everything mm-hmm. um and these are just things that are making us very very angry mm-hmm. and to say that we are we, we don't have leaders mm-hmm. you have seen uh it's not that uh, we we need to tell you that uh now to raise our leader yeah. or kolo is our leader yeah. or, but we, we, we have leaders for mm-hmm. people to convene and everything mm-hmm. uh there is a coordination mm-hmm. which the state has failed to <laughs> <laughs> to pinpoint uh, uh, because the, you, you see where the abductions are happening and everything yeah. you, you know what is happening of yeah. course currently yeah. that's why we need to protect even ourselves mm-hmm. and why, that's why we are saying uh, we have a collective leadership yeah. so leaders are there but they are anonymous yeah the anonymous yeah. yeah even if you are a leader in yeah. your own way in, in, own in a capacity. media industry yeah. we have even leaders who are exposing these things that yeah. even the mainstream yeah. media are not telling people mm-hmm. we have leaders mm-hmm. yeah so we saw that uh, you are not be able, you, you are not able to occupy state house yeah are we still occupying state house yeah you know uh to answer that quest- question mm-hmm. for this struggle um and the way things are mm-hmm. it's like a marathon mm-hmm. so we still have to we still have to march on mm-hmm. and the nanenane march was very very successful mm-hmm. um there were people who came out of nairobi mm-hmm. uh, who came or who came here in nairobi they were locked out by police officers mm-hmm. and everything there were a lot of surveillance there were a lot of arrests mm-hmm. there were a lot of shootings mm-hmm. <laughs> even we saw journalists being Uh, shot. being shot by mm. by police officers yeah. so uh we saw uh the police had different roadblocks mm-hmm. um, across nairobi mm-hmm. far end from the city yeah. so that even people when they get out of car they can't even access the city yeah. but the few people who access the city mm-hmm. um, managed to protest mm-hmm and show that uh, we are still marching on mm-hmm. we are still part of this struggle mm-hmm. we are still pushing our agenda mm-hmm. we need the constitution to be implemented mm-hmm. so uh, the nanane march was very very successful mm-hmm. actually you, you are in cbd you saw what happened in cbd yeah. nothing so even even for people not just going to work that mm-hmm. is a protest uh, yeah. that is a protest because of course the yeah, taxes are not course, coming in uh, people not have shown in, that uh, yeah. this is a protest and yeah. it was very very successful for uh, those who are one. saying that the protest wasn't successful yeah. I, I i don't know what, what, what they understand about uh, yeah the i think it comes back to protest doesn't necessarily mean that people have to come out and you know people can, you can be, decide you are not going to work yeah, today people today are, we are not, not going to work and yeah, that is a protest yeah, and yeah. it's a very successful one the economy is not going yeah i yeah. think that one is uh, when you yeah. say like that it, it was very very successful sense. yeah so we are still occupying state house we are still occupying state house mm-hmm. and um, what we are saying is just uh, for ruto mm-hmm. we have seen is not capable of leading this country mm-hmm. and taking us to the next next level mm-hmm. because what you are demanding is that uh, all looters must be arrested mm-hmm. all resources that have been stolen must be recovered mm-hmm. so that we as kenyans can live in dignity mm-hmm. because we have been subjected to poverty mm. because of few individuals few economic terrorists have stolen everything from from kenyans 
<laughs> and now they are telling us to pay those debts. Uh, so you like can, even you can imagine. Uh, so the attorney general before the one who is leaving before she she is leaving she lay, uh, released a statement where 14 is it 14 billion which was was unpaid debt to unknown people debt that has not been borrowed but has been paid. Auditors general. Yeah, the the attorney Je- Auditors general. Gen- it was the auditors general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can see even even <laughs> even Nairobi County. Yeah. We saw even uh, I saw even somebody talking about it like since even uh, uh, the election that we had yeah. the mcs they don't know even the amount of revenue being collected being collected at yeah. nairobi county and yeah, who collects yeah, the, the revenue assembly, yeah. i had somebody saying that at the space that the president hosted um with the people the uh, robert alai was asking the the president mm. who who collects nairobi revenue yeah you can imagine yeah we are living in a certain country yeah, we where, know where, much where uh, the healthcare system in uh, at nairobi county level mm. is crippled and everything mm. yet the MCS even they don't know uh, how much, how is, much being is being collected, collected and who is collecting the yeah. uh, the revenue just to fix like for example the healthcare the roads mm-hmm. the waste mm-hmm. you, you you can see then then they are saying they are leaders mm. so even the i think even markets. the members of county assembly they should resign <laughs> and we should occupy <laughs> that assembly <laughs> you want everybody yeah because you can see the, yeah. this country is a mess yeah, yeah, that's yeah, only nairobi so county we have, we have not even talked about oh, other counties yeah, 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 we have yeah. not talked about na- uh, the national mm-hmm. national uh, government at mm-hmm. national government level mm-hmm. you can see you can imagine mm-hmm. yeah too rare because i want us now as we come to a close conclusion because i know you have a game that you're supposed to go to yeah we are talking about i want us you to update us on mukuru kwa jenga uh we saw uh, what had been happening at the kware dump it yeah can you update us on what so far because we saw you had been given some gadgets you are requesting for some new gadgets so that you can be able to access the the pit hole and everything yeah where have you reached in terms of uh, collection of bodies have you been able to collect other bodies and what's happening just give us an update uh so uh first first and foremost uh I want to take, to take this opportunity to thank Kenyans who supported us uh, for the process of retrieval mm-hmm. uh, because even the process has stalled for for some time. Mm-hmm. We can't do one. Mm-hmm. Um, we as the Justice Center, we are part mm-hmm. of people who identified uh, those bodies and raised an alarm yeah. so that people can come, mm-hmm. uh, people can identify because it was actually a lot of people who were dumped there yeah. and these are uh, body parts that were chopped mm-hmm. and put in gunny bags mm-hmm. in the same patterns mm-hmm. dismembered and dumped at quarry mm-hmm. uh, so for these bodies um, first uh, f- first uh, we, have re- we have we have retrieved so far 18 18 sacks mm-hmm. which um, these bodies need to be matched mm-hmm. so that you can have postmortem Uh, we can have x-ray you can have postmortem mm-hmm. and also have dna so that you can also identify their mm-hmm. family members mm-hmm. because um some bodies were were in, in good condition mm-hmm. others were in con- uh, okay were, the body cannot be in good let's say they were still like they were still like yeah, and you can be able to yeah you, can, you can be able to identify them mm-hmm. uh but but others were others were others were in very 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 disturbing did you see did you look at the uh, some, of the some of the bodies yeah yeah actually it's very very traumatizing mm-hmm. it's very very traumatizing yeah. so um we we worked closely uh, with the authorities yeah. and we are working with we are still working with them what they call operative the call the cooperative? forensic yeah. the forensic team from the dci mm-hmm. uh to make sure that we have retrieved the bodies you have mm-hmm. taken them to morgue at the post mortem are taking place but now the process has stalled mm-hmm. Um, because the for some days we have been trying to look for bodies but we, we have not uh, got any any of the bodies okay. at quarry okay. so they said that um, they are going to come back okay they'll communicate mm-hmm. when they'll be back mm-hmm. um, but um, it was very very saddening mm-hmm. uh, for us in Mukuru mm-hmm. to identify that in our area um, this was happening in our area mm-hmm and nobody actually has been held to account mm-hmm. we saw even the quarry police officers being transferred mm-hmm. all of them, uh, all of them. Mm-hmm. we haven't seen any inv- any investigation happening mm-hmm. even for them because the quarry is just opposite uh, their police station mm, yeah. you can you can, you, you can imagine now mm-hmm. they have been transferred to another area mm-hmm. if they they are they are part of the problem mm-hmm. they they have transferred that problem to another area so you can you can imagine mm-hmm that is the country that we are living mm-hmm. in 
how are this family going to, to get justice? Mm -hmm. We saw uh, there was someone who, who was arrested. Uh, actually, yeah, the, Collins somewhere. Yeah, Collins. I remember Collins. Cause Collins, <laughs> uh, Collins yeah. was arrested. <laughs> yeah. and, and the case is on 16th. Yeah. Uh, this week. Mm. The case is on 16th this week. Mm -hmm. So uh, we also want to, to find out because uh, we've been identified where where they are saying Collins was staying here. Mm -hmm. um, most of most of people who are living there they don't know him. No, yeah. they are saying he used to live. Yeah, mm. they don't know him. Mm -hmm. And even if he used to kill people there, mm. what's the evidence? And yeah. also, even the people just around there, yeah. just to to say that um, we had some boys, somebody mm -hmm. was killed. Mm. And the sad thing um, uh, for this process uh, is get is getting uh, it's not getting much attention. Mm, it should it's to be, uh, yeah. because um, we have seen even now people are not talking not talking about talking it, about yeah. it. Yeah. and that's how uh, even we need to streamline um, our our criminal justice system, mm -hmm. making sure that. It works for everyone we have a we have seen a lot of gaps the government doesn't have even a database of missing persons wow we have seen uh, we are having gaps of the government uh, saying that we have unidentified bodies yet they have they have fingerprints of everyone yeah. they have that capacity to make sure that that's what we get they don't they, they don't need to tell us that we have an identified <laughs> bodies at city mortuary we have yeah. an identified body it's just only few hours they they need to identify this is Ture, he's coming from this area, yeah. his mother is this, is, is this one, mm. his father is... You can imagine. Yeah. And those are the things why people are going on the street. Yeah. So how because many... the institutions are not working, especially yeah. the independent institutions, yeah. are not working for the people. Yeah. How many bodies were, were, were identified so far and how many maybe have gone for burial services and everything? So uh, for the for, for the retrieval process and the bodies that are, have been identified, um, the so far bodies that have been identified are three, mm -hmm. um, and yet you are still following up with the families. Oh, so they, they have not even gone for burial. So there is no single burial that have been conducted for uh, anybody. We, we haven't got any communication. I, d I don't think if there is any because yeah. um, uh, we we still have DNAs to take place okay. and DNA. Uh, mm. takes 21 days yeah you can imagine yeah. so they still have to wait more oh my God. more days <laughs> so that um even those even the lady who are, saw the they have, they have the identified not yet yeah he said that uh, at first they said that they they had identified but later they said it's not the one it's not the one yeah, so yeah. we are still uh, can you verify that actually. all of them are ladies or, as the speculations are I can't verify that. Okay. I can't verify that because mm -hmm. um, we also have uh, not all all bodies have been matched okay. because we still have uh, other half bodies wow. at the morgue. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't got the, the rest mm -hmm. pieces of bodies. Okay. You can imagine. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Such an incompetency in front of our eyes, yeah. So now we have seen now that you have seen that you're still having now, we are still occupying state house, yeah. But we don't have yet, you don't yet have a date. We are going to look at, at our social medias, that's where we are going to get the information, or where can we be able to get the information? The information of, just get uh, on social media, on social media. Uh, the struggle is still on. Mm -hmm. uh, our uh, march to get root out of power mm -hmm. still on. Okay. We're still having um, civic education. We have people who are doing them in Matatus. Mm -hmm. We have people who are doing the citizens assembly. Yeah. We have people who are doing civic education mm -hmm. across the country and different parts. Make sure you join mm -hmm. one of them mm -hmm. and also you air out your views. Yeah. Uh, because we want, um, we want to take over mm -hmm. uh, back this country, mm -hmm. a country where um, the leadership respect the people's dignity mm -hmm. the people's lives mm -hmm. people's rights people's social and political rights mm -hmm. we don't want a country where has been captured by few individuals mm -hmm. who who their interest is only business mm -hmm. so that they can they can have transaction mm -hmm. of resources they have divided the countries uh, the country um, among us themselves mm -hmm. now we have they have the lordship mm -hmm. kingship of Kiki. different areas yeah. what we, what we, we want we as kenyans is not only 
um only um we can get even a leader for example from one tribe mm. but as long as they are respecting our constitution mm-hmm. they're implementing everything mm-hmm. according it is mm-hmm. uh, we, we we don't need a broad ge- based government so that uh, every the constitution should be, could be implemented mm-hmm. because uh, even the broad ge- based government uh, now uh, they are expanding they are looting <laughs> yeah. uh, f- now they have incorporated other other looters mm-hmm. so that they can loot together mm-hmm. uh, so for us our struggle is still on mm-hmm. we are sp- still pushing um, our struggle for good governance mm-hmm. our struggle for respect mm-hmm. uh, to human dignity mm-hmm. and our struggle to end the new colonialism where we have seen IMF and World Bank yeah. uh, the Bill Gates and the team they are controlling everything even the the policies that we are having mm-hmm. for example the seed policy mm-hmm. the punitive seed policy well, land policy and everything so you you can see we need yeah. a ca- a free country because yeah. Uh, we are not yet free yeah. because they are uh, they are controlling even the food that we are eating. Mm-hmm. You can imagine. Yeah. So uh, that's the country that we are, we are dreaming to have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So as we come to a conclusion, what is your call for action today? Uh, my call for action. I know uh, Kenyans are suffering. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a lot of people who are suffering, mm-hmm. uh, and the reason on why these people are suffering is because of state violence mm-hmm. because the state has failed mm-hmm. so we as kenyans we need to unite we need to help each other mm-hmm. we need to fight for this struggle we need to fight for a better country mm-hmm. we need to fight to change this country we need to fight to make sure our constitution has been implemented mm-hmm. fully word by word word by word mm-hmm. this is our struggle mm-hmm. it's our collective struggle we are together in this. Mm-hmm. Aluta continue. Aluta continue. Viva comrades, viva. And that is Amani Daudi Ture, one of the best activists that we have in the country. The most, one of the most vocal one activists. Activist. Oh, vocal. One, Let one, me, one, one of, of the, the activists. In the vocal. Country. You are very not, vocal. Not vocal. You know, everyone, <laughs> everyone is an activist. Yeah. Even when you, when you take a, a child, when a mother is breast mm-hmm. is breast breastfeeding a child, yeah. then takes away that breast uh, when it's not. <laughs> feeling he, he, it's enough uh-huh. he or she still starts crying it is uh, that's, so crying. that's activism yeah, yeah, yeah everybody yeah. now is an activist in kenya everybody yeah, yeah. 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 If, if you came out for that particular protest whether even if you didn't come out whether you are doing it online even if it's, it's posting that particular poster on your status yeah whatever it, whether it's yeah. calling your friend and telling them you know what whether selling that 10 shillings yeah. to support the people who have been shot exactly whether, uh, you know participated in, in the struggle let me first of all ask before we, we come to a conclusion because <laughs> i've remembered you saying uh, about the 10 shillings yeah we saw jimmy wanjiki being how they invaded jimmy wanjiki's house saying that he was part of the, of the, those people funding the uh, the demonstrations yeah did you receive anything from from jimmy wanjiki or did you feel like he was supporting the protest in any way and how do you think about his um, invasion to his house as i said you know our leadership is collective leadership yeah there's no one mm-hmm. who has supported this protest mm-hmm. but kenyans have been supporting this protest yeah. there are kenyans who have been uh, who have been contributing there are kenyans who are abroad mm-hmm. everyone we are thanking them for mm-hmm. uh, contributing mm-hmm. uh, for the people who are shot mm-hmm. uh, the people who are injured the people who are killed mm-hmm. um we are saying thank you for those kenyans mm-hmm. but we haven't seen even uh, the individual yeah who you cannot be out y- y- yeah you know this not the the issue of individualism mm-hmm. these are political class issue yeah. that they need to identify somebody mm-hmm. uh, rela- uh, connected to this thing <laughs> and we don't want that culture yeah. because that culture has failed mm-hmm. and we need to have a country of collective leadership mm-hmm. where everybody's rights is being respected mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Of course even Jimmy Wajigi, he's a Kenyan right now. He doesn't have any any position so right now we're treating him as a, as a Kenyan. So invading his house, I also feel you know what that is disrespecting Kenyans in general, yeah. So that is the uh, Amani Daudi Toure. He said he's not the best <laughs> activist, but I want to call him Bas, one of the most vocal activists that we have in the country and remember that you can also get to engage with him through uh, his social media platforms. Toure, do you have social media platforms? Yeah, at Twitter you can get me uh, at anami daudi mm-hmm. uh, on x mm-hmm. uh 
Instagram anami Daudi Ture mm-hmm. TikTok anami Daudi Ture yeah. Facebook anami Daudi Ture um, anami Daudi Ture yeah. and he is also a coordinator pale Mukuru Social Justice Center so if you also want to get updates about what is happening in the country you can also go and uh, look at the social media platform where is Mukuru Social Justice Center send you manze asante ni manze wana sauti kwa kuwa nasi manze it's always a pleasure being with you here manze and make sure that you continue hitting that subscription button and in case you have anything that you want us to talk about and be able to engage uh, with a particular person, person from uh, the social justice uh, community centers the advocacies you just tell us and we are going to bring them on these particular platforms manze asante sana manze god wabariki mimi naitwa shadow collins wangoi adios muchachos tunaona tunasikia na tutabonga i'm the boy